The following is a presentation of RMG Sports, award-winning championship television. Powerboat Nationals 2017 Gulf Cup Racing Series has seen two drivers rise to the top of the championship points. Veteran racer Mark Jacobs shares the top spot with defending Gulf Cup Series champion Lee Daniel. Now the championship roars into beautiful Wausau, Wisconsin, where a champion will be crowned. RMG's HydroZone from Wausau starts now. Race fans, welcome to beautiful Wausau, Wisconsin, where Powerboat Nationals is set to crown a champion here at the 2017 Grand Prix of Wisconsin. Hello everyone, alongside the RMG Sports crew, I'm Jared Roomsburg. We have a huge day of racing, a huge weekend of racing here in Wausau. But before we get to the racing, let's cover qualifying in the pre-race show, brought to you by WSAW, the news you can trust, and by Fox WZAW, your local news and weather authority. After single lap time trials, defending series champion two, Lee Daniel was on the pole and led the fleet to the commitment buoy as they exploded off of the dock. Daniel held the lead through the turns and led the fleet down the front stretch, while Mark Jacob in the Red Budweiser 7 and 5, Brian Tabara, fought hard for second right behind him. Later on lap one, rookie Jeff Wagner bounced the 79 DriveThisBoat.com boat alongside a 59 Tyler Welch to battle for the fifth place slot as they went into turn three. Wagner would grab the spot, but soon he would be pestered by Jim Robb in the Gulf Racing Fuels 13 for position. Jim Robb's time in the top five was extremely limited as 32 Mark Welch quickly brought the total medical supply 32 boat alongside and passed Robb for position in the waning laps of the first heat race. It's been a familiar sight all year long as two Lee Daniel stayed out front and took home the checkered in heat race one. As the sun set on qualifying in Wausau, heat race two saw seven Mark Jacob take off with the lead while two, Lee Daniel, 59, Tyler Welch, and the rest of the fleet played catch up. But the race would come to a stop on lap one as 58, Jeff Crisciano, and 79, Jeff Wagner made contact in turn one, bringing out the caution. While both boats were heavily damaged, both drivers were okay, and Jeff Wagner gave the fans a reassuring thumbs up. On the restart, Mark Jacob picked up right where he left off with two, Lee Daniel, and five, Brian Tabara fighting hard for second behind him. The battle for fourth heated up almost immediately as 32 Mark Welch blew by 91 Jason Lindenbach, sending the Canadian back to the fifth place position. Brian Tabara was back in third, trying to catch up to two Lee Daniel in second. This would be a Herculean task as Lee Daniel was working hard to try to catch up to the leader, Mark Jacob. However, the red Budweiser 7 absolutely dominated heat race two, leading every lap and taking home the checkered flag in the final round of qualifying. Now with qualifying complete, let's take a minute to meet the top three qualifying drivers of Powerboat Nationals Gulf Racing Fuels Cup Series running of the 2017 Grand Prix of Wisconsin here in Wausau. Starting third is Moose Lake, Minnesota's Brian Tabara. They've gone over the boat with a fine tooth comb. They think they have it ready to win. We're going to pick our places. Um, we, we found a couple issues in the motor, and we're hoping that that's going to help us get off those starts a little bit better. Starting second is Clifton, Illinois' Mark Jacob. He says he's got the Budweiser 7 hooked up and ready to win in Wausau. Yeah, it's working good this weekend. We made a few changes to it here you know, through the day yesterday, and uh, going to make a couple more changes here today, and hopefully it all works out good. And starting on the pole is our defending series champion, Lee Daniel. He's looking to go home a champion once again with a win in Wausau. We've done a pretty good job yesterday. We won one heat and Mark won another heat, and uh, we beat him by time. So we're sitting on the pole. Um, just got to make sure the motor fires and we get off good off the dock and then, um, then make Mark chase us. And uh, maybe we'll stay out in front of him. Now, race fans, here's the rest of the starting grid for Powerboat Nationals running of the 2017 Grand Prix of Wisconsin in Wausau. Wysetta, Minnesota's Mark Welch has the total medical supply 32 starting the race in fourth. A lone Canadian in the fleet, Jason Lindenbach from Regina, Saskatchewan, starts fifth. Jim Robb has the iconic Gulf Racing Fuels 13 starting the race in sixth. Jeff Wagner earned a seventh place slot on the dock, but there's too much damage to his boat. His day is done. Starting eighth and just a few slots back behind his dad, we find Wysetta, Minnesota's Tyler Welch. 
and Elk River, Minnesota's Jeff Cresciano earned a ninth place slot, but his boat is too damaged to race in the feature. Well, that's how they'll line up, fans, alongside this huge crowd that has amassed itself here along Lake Wausau. They've loaded the bleachers. The pleasure boats are along the backstretch. Fans, we hope you stick around, too. Plenty of Powerboat Nationals racing from Wausau coming up after this. This presentation of Powerboat Nationals Racing at the 2017 Grand Prix of Wisconsin is brought to you by Powerboat Nationals. Learn more at PowerboatNationals.com. DNL Signs, a full-service sign company since 1971. By Rib Mountain Marine. Fabiano Brothers, your premier wholesale beverage distributor. And by Rotographic Printing. The proof is in the printing. Summer sports, winter sports, large events. Wausau Central Wisconsin Convention and Visitors Bureau's Sports Authority and Event Group, managing 70 or more events per year around Wausau and other communities. The Sports Authority helps promote Central Wisconsin tourism and features Badger State summer and winter games, along with these great events. Go to visitwausau.com to learn more. Compass Properties is proud to be a part of downtown Wausau, breathing life and innovation into historical buildings, such as the 3rd Street Lifestyle Center, featuring excellent shopping, great food, and wonderful hospitality. City Square, this eight-story office building offers tenants a unique work-life balance. With Class A amenities and design, we help keep employees in the building productive and focused on what's important. Compass Properties, dedicated to downtown Wausau, dedicated to community, and dedicated to serving you. The 2017 Grand Prix of Wisconsin North American Powerboat Championship is brought to you by Wausau and Central Wisconsin Convention and Visitors Bureau Sports Authority, Powerboat Nationals, Gulf Racing Fuels, WSAW News Channel 7, Fox WZAW, and these great sponsors. Experience the power, the action, the fun of Powerboat Nationals. Powerboat Nationals brings the unparalleled excitement of championship powerboat racing to regattas and festivals across America. Powerboat Nationals provides thrilling daytime racing and family-friendly events that entertain and engage fans of all ages. Contact Powerboat Nationals today to learn how your city can host a heart-pounding, action-packed event. Throw your event into high gear with Powerboat Nationals Championship Racing. This segment of Powerboat Nationals Racing at the 2017 Grand Prix of Wisconsin is brought to you by Ho-Chunk Casino. Experience the difference. Race fans, welcome back to Wausau, where an incredible crowd has packed the shoreline of Lake Wausau. Here at Bluegill Bay Park, fans have come out by the thousands, filling the bleachers, stacking three, four, some places five deep along the race course, all to get a great view of the first ever powerboat race in Wausau. Dignitaries were on hand too. Rebecca Clayfish, the Lieutenant Governor of Wisconsin, was enjoying the event, learning more about Powerboat Nationals racing, and then she even got to drop the green flag on a great day of racing. Well, I hope everyone enjoys it, and I hope everyone chooses to return, because Wausau has some of the most fantastic, friendly faces and neighborly folks willing to not only give you a terrific time, but also give you a really great experience for your sporting dollars. Well, we've had a fantastic experience in Wausau, Mrs. Clayfish, and we can't wait to come back. Now, let's get to the highlights of some fantastic racing with the VP75 feature race. Driver X, Andy Wachholz, earned the pole and blasted ahead of the fleet at the start of the race. Seven, Giovanni Tonti was in second and had to stay on his horse as Josh Baker was in third and was ripping the 46 boat around the turns in pursuit of the front runners. Back in the pack six, Tev Annaparna was trying to catch up to five, Joel Stricker, but Stricker kept the stars and stripes ahead and held on to the fourth place slot. Wachholz kept the expo out in front for the entire race, crossing the line first, bringing home the checkered flag as the winner of Powerboat Nationals VP75 feature race at the Grand Prix of Wisconsin in Wausau. Giovanni Tonti and Josh Baker joined Andy Wachholz on the podium. Joel Stricker and Tev Anafarda round out the top five VP75 finishers. Next up on the docket, Powerboat Nationals SST60 feature race. 
Elk River, Minnesota's Jeff Crisciano had the Pilot 58 on the pole, but 15, Jessica Tabara stayed attached to JK's hip right from the start. 48, Tim Holmes had had to fight off 24, Jonah Gilbertson for third as the two blasted down the backstretch. Holmes and held the inside line through the turns and took the short way around the course, holding on to the final step on the Wausau podium. Tabara kept her 15 within a second or two of the leader the entire race, but this one belonged to the Pilot 58 as Jeff Crisciano dominated the event, taking home the win in Powerboat Nationals SST 60 feature race at the Grand Prix of Wisconsin. JK was joined by Jessica Tabara and Tim Holmesen on the podium. Jonah Gilbertson and Jared Smiley round out the top five. Now let's get to the action of Powerboat Nationals Formula Lights feature race at the Grand Prix of Wisconsin. Wisconsin's own Mark Schmerbach earned the pole position and had the sixth boat in E1 when the flag dropped. The Greenfield native built up a nice lead as the fleet rocketed onto the Lake Wausau course. As they came down the front stretch, the pack went three wide for second. Four, Amanda Hagerl, and 31, Jimmy Robb went side by side for position with Hagerl getting the slot as they flew into turn one. Then Robb had to contend with 94, Paul Trollian for third. Trollian got close, but Rob hit the gas and kept the Michigan Cat 31 in P3. Most of the action was in the front, as Amanda Hagerl had caught up with Mark Schmerbach to pester him for the lead. Hagerl would move alongside, and Schmerbach would pull away in the straights. But Hagerl was persistent and stayed right with the class's defending national champion to the final laps where the six would have trouble. And Schmerbach limped to the dock, surrendered the lead, and allowed everyone to move up one notch in the order. Hagerl was in the lead and intended to stay there. Behind her, 31, Jimmy Robb was now in second and would have to hold off a charging Paul Trollian as the 94 was coming on strong, trying to get around the 31 for that runner-up slot on the podium. Amanda Hagerl stayed in front and the Marquette, Michigan native crossed the line first, making Wausau the place where she earned her first career feature race in Powerboat Nationals Formula Lights Racing. Jimmy Robb and Paul Trollian joined Amanda Hagerl on the podium. A heartbroken Mark Sperbach finished in last place in the Grand Prix of Wisconsin. Well, race fans, it's almost time to crown a champion. Will it be the two of Lee Daniel or the guy right behind him, the seven of Mark Jacobs? Stick around, race fans. We're going to crown a champion in Wausau when we come back to the 2017 Grand Prix of Wisconsin right after this. Something new is coming to Wittenberg. Something delicious, something restful, and something very exciting. Ho-Chunk Gaming Wittenberg is expanding to offer a luxurious hotel, great new dining options, and tons of new slots. All for you to experience the difference at Ho-Chunk Gaming Wittenberg. This bud's for the dream and the people bold enough to pursue it. For those who come from nothing and rise to something, it's for those who take everything this country has to offer and make it their own. It's the trip of a lifetime for our nation's veterans. The Wisconsin Honor Flight is dedicated to honoring Wisconsin veterans by flying them to our nation's capital to visit the memorials constructed for their service. To learn more or make a donation, visit wisconsinhonorflight.org. The Wausau Central Wisconsin Convention and Visitor Bureau's Sports Authority, WSAW News Channel 7, Fox, WZAW, and these fine sponsors proudly support the Wisconsin Honor Flight. Summer sports, winter sports, large events. Wausau Central Wisconsin Convention and Visitors Bureau's Sports Authority and Event Group, managing 70 or more events per year around Wausau and other communities. The Sports Authority helps promote Central Wisconsin tourism and features Badger State summer and winter games, along with these great events. Go to visitwausau.com to learn more. This segment of Powerboat Nationals Racing at the 2017 Grand Prix of Wisconsin is brought to you by Sports Authority, Wausau and Central Wisconsin Sports Commission, 
Race fans, welcome back to beautiful Wausau, Wisconsin, where this corner of Lake Wausau has been turned into a liquid super speedway. And look at how the fans have turned out. They are all making their way to the shoreline to get a good spot to watch. Powerboat Nationals running in the Grand Prix of Wisconsin. Let's take a look at the championship points for the Gulf Racing Fuels Cup Series as we lead it in this event. As we said many times, fans, Mark Jacob and Lee Daniel tied at the top of the points. One of these two drivers is going to leave Wisconsin as the series champion. Jeff Reno back in third, unable to make it to Wisconsin. He's still down at his home in Okeechobee, Florida, cleaning up after Hurricane Irma. So now we go dockside. This is the calm before the storm, fans. We take a peek from the top of our defending series champion, Lee Daniel. There's Mark Jacob right next door, right next to him. One of three Minnesota drivers we have in the fleet today, Brian Tabara. But you can hear that the fuel pumps are on. All eyes are now on the flagman as we wait for the drop of the flag. The flag drops, the engines ignite, and now we're racing for the first time in Wisconsin. A drag race indeed. Here they go into turn three for the first time, side by side. Whoa, Daniel had to get out of the throttle. Mark Jacob's going to hop up into the lead as Lee Daniel has to play cleanup. Mark Jacob disappears with the lead. Lee Daniel now has to deal with Brian Tabara for a second. Lee Daniel claiming that Mark Jacob cut him off as they went into the turns. Either way, it's the red Budweiser 7 of Mark Jacob taking the green flag as they start lap one of this 25 lap main event. Brian Tabara now staying within a two boat length distance between him and second place Lee Daniel. Tabara moving outside trying to get some wake free water to gain some speed. But man, look at Lee Daniel driving like a man possessed, getting away from Brian Tabara. He has his sights on that red Budweiser 7. He didn't like the way this race was started. He wants to get alongside of the Budweiser 7 and get around him and win this race. But you can see Brian Tabara back in third, not making it easy for our defending series champion. Lee Daniel has to keep one eye on the red Budweiser 7 and one eye in his rear view mirrors as the Tabara racing number five still looming large behind our defending series champion Lee Daniel. But just like Lee Daniel, Tabara's got to keep one eye in his rearview mirror behind him, the 59 of Tyler Welch. Welch started back in the sixth place slot deep in the field. He's made his way up to fourth off a fantastic start. Got around his father, 32, Mark Welch. And now you can see there's one, two, and three coming out of turn four. Tyler Welch coming into turn three as he's trying to catch up to the front runners and get on the podium here of this first ever Powerboat Nationals race ran on the beautiful waters of Lake Wausau here in Wausau, Wisconsin. Our leader, Mark Jacob, man, smooth as butter going through those turns. Lee Daniel standing that boat up on its end, trying to catch up to the Red Budweiser 7. Lee Daniel, our defending series champion, qualified P1, now back in second. Lee Daniels' adrenaline was already pumping, but you know it's at maximum level now after that controversial way that Mark Jacob went through turns three and four to take the lead right at the hole shot. But man, look at how he has this boat set up. Mark Jacob just cruising down the front stretch into turn one. Back in third, trying to make up some ground on our front runners, Brian Tabara, but you can see Mark Jacob and Lee Daniel exiting turn two. Tabara just now entering turn two, looking up ahead from Tabara's onboard camera. Not much distance between the seven and two up front as the battle's starting to heat up for the lead. Brian Tabara, we talked to him before the race fans. He says, take a good look at this boat. He has a brand new boat coming out for the 2018 season. So we hope to see him more in the Powerboat National Circuit next year. We hop on board with our fourth place driver, Tyler Welch, one of two Welches in the fleet today. His dad, Mark Welch, is behind him driving the 32 total medical supply boat. But man, look at Tyler keeping that boat grinding across the top of the water. He has to, because right behind him, Jim Robb is lurking in the 13 Gulf Marine Racing Fuels entry. You can see him come ripping up alongside. Here goes Tyler Welch into turn one. He's keeping Rob behind him as now he goes into turn two. He's got to get back on his horse because Jim Rob is lurking right behind him, driving the iconic colors of golf racing, the beautiful golf racing fuels 13 boat. Now Lee Daniels starting to make up some time on the leader, Mark Jacob, as they scream down the front stretch. Mark Jacob at Budweiser 7 is your leader. Here comes Lee Daniel now within two boat lengths through turns one and two. Lee Daniel now, look at him try to cut down to the inside. Whoa, -ho -ho! 
barely misses that buoy. Don't pop a buoy, fans. Pop a buoy, one lap penalty. But Lee Daniel trying to make up some ground on our leader, Mark Jacob. These two aren't just fighting for a win here in Wisconsin. They're fighting for the series championship. Who's going to get the trophy? We'll find out in just a few short minutes, fans. More Powerboat Nationals racing from the 2017 Grand Prix of Wisconsin after this. Experience the power, the action, the fun of Powerboat Nationals. Powerboat Nationals brings the unparalleled excitement of championship powerboat racing to regattas and festivals across America. Powerboat Nationals provides thrilling daytime racing and family-friendly events that entertain and engage fans of all ages. Contact Powerboat Nationals today to learn how your city can host a heart-pounding, action-packed event. Throw your event into high gear with Powerboat Nationals Championship Racing. The 2017 Grand Prix of Wisconsin North American Powerboat Championship is brought to you by Wausau and Central Wisconsin Convention and Visitors Bureau Sports Authority, Powerboat Nationals, Gulf Racing Fuels, WSAW News Channel 7, Fox WZAW, and these great sponsors. This segment of Powerboat Nationals Racing at the 2017 Grand Prix of Wisconsin is brought to you by Compass Properties, Commercial Real Estate Management and Development. Race fans, welcome back to Wausau, Wisconsin, where Powerboat Nationals Grand Prix of Wisconsin is well underway. Five and a half laps remain in this race. Mark Jacob is your leader right behind him. The two of Lee Daniel from North Augusta, South Carolina. And here's why, fans, right off the start, let's ride along Ward with Lee Daniel as he goes into turn three for the first time. And Mark Jacob cuts right in front of Lee Daniel, forcing him off the throttle. And really, that was the determining factor of this race. You can see there, Mark Jacob cutting down in front of Lee Daniel. They're saying he cut him off. Mark Jacob saying, I'm sure I was in my lane. I had the ability to do it. I did it. And now Mark Jacob in the lead, and that's where he's been for the entire race thus far. Mark Jacob in a tie with Lee Daniel for the championship points coming into Wisconsin. Winner of this race will be your points champion. Brian Tabara, this is the first time he's raced with Powerboat Nationals. Doing very well so far is the Moose Lake, Minnesota driver. Brian Tabara qualified third. He's running third now, but he needs to get up at least one more slot, fans. His wife, Jessica Tabara, finished second in the SST 60 feature race here at the Grand Prix of Wisconsin. So he needs to finish at least second in this race. He might get a lot of ribbing on the way home from wife Jessica. The Tabara family very well known in powerboat racing as both drivers and as engine builders. Another family very well known, the Welch family. Tyler Welch up in fourth place. His father, Mark Welch, back in the pack a little bit. Tyler running very well in what is his first Powerboat Nationals race of 2017. The guy running the best out of anybody is Mark Jacob. But now he's got to have a little more work on his schedule as he's starting to come up into lap boats. You could see Jacob moving down, trying to select his lane. Now the lap boats, they don't have to get out of the way, fans. They just need to maintain their lane. And that's exactly what 91 Jason Lindenbach was doing, moving out of the way, getting out of the way of the front runners, letting them pass through. Here comes Lee Daniel. You can see now he's got to get around Lindenbach. Lee Daniel back in second, struggling mightily all race long, trying to catch up to that red Budweiser seven and get around him for the points championship. But he's running out of time. Eight more turns remain in this race. Two laps to go. Mark Jacob moving away on the back stretch. Mark Welch moves the Total Medical Supply 32 boat out of the way, giving Lee Daniel plenty of room. You can see Lee Daniel trying to make up some time on that rooster tail right in front of him. So they're now down to about a lap and a quarter left in this race. Oh no, Tyler Welch! Tyler Welch out of the race. His motor has gone silent outside of turns three and four. A disappointing finish for Tyler Welch, who had made it up to fourth place, but he's going to drop like a stone in the standings. White flags in the air, fans. Here's your battle for the lead. Mark Jacob into turn one. Here comes Lee Daniel. Lee Daniel cuts down on the turn, moves to within two boat lengths. Final lap battle. Lee Daniel tries to move to the inside line. Take away the inside line from the Budweiser 7 as they scream down the backstretch. Look at Mark Jacob. He can feel the heat coming off of that two boat right behind him. Mark Jacob, he's going to have to hug these buoys as he goes into turns three and four one more time. 
takes the inside line away from Lee Daniel and lifts the Budweiser 7 boat up out of the water once again, forcing Daniel. Look at Daniel standing the two boat up. Lee Daniel now in behind, but he's not going to catch up. Jacob has a clean shot all the way to the end and takes the checkered flag. Mark Jacob wins the 2017 Grand Prix of Wisconsin and becomes the 2017 Gulf Racing Fuels Cup Series champion. The Sports Authority Post Race Show is next. This presentation of Powerboat Nationals Racing at the 2017 Grand Prix of Wisconsin was brought to you by Fox WZAW, your local news and weather authority. WSAW, the news you can trust. By Ho-Chunk Casino, experience the difference. Central Wisconsin Convention and Expo Center. And by ESPN Sports Fan. Central Wisconsin's home for ESPN Radio. Race fans, welcome back to Wausau, Wisconsin, where we see our winner here of the Grand Prix of Wisconsin, Mark Jacob, grabbing the checkered flag and beginning his victory lap, where we welcome you to the Sports Authority Post Race Show. Sports Authority, Wausau and Central Wisconsin Sports Commission. Here are your podium finishers, Wausau. Beautiful race course. Wausau is, is, a, is a great town. Um, the river is nice, clean, not too much current. Uh, not a lot of stuff in the water, fast water. There was not a lot of room out there, but um, there, there was some good passes and uh, just a lot of fun. Ha very happy that I made it through it. Well, we tried and I knew uh, if I had to keep pushing him, if I had even had the chance to make, make him make a mistake, but he, he run a flawless uh, race. He got a little ahead of me in the, um, when we got down there to the corner and uh, kind of got tight. So he got around me and uh, I tried to catch him and I never could catch him. Wausau's great, um, really enjoyed racing here. The people are, are great, the race site is really nice, the water's great, uh, just, a, just a fabulous place for a boat race. I mean, I kind of edged him out into the corner just a little bit, and uh, you know, I knew I had to, I couldn't give him too much room, I couldn't let him get out ahead of me, um, or else the race is over, so you just kind of get what you can get. Jason Lindenbach and Mark Welch round out the top five finishers here at the 2017 Grand Prix of Wisconsin. Let's take a look at those final championship points, fans. You know who the champion is. Mark Jacob on top. Lee Daniel finishes a mere three points behind. Can't wait for 2018. We have had a fantastic time here in Wausau, and we congratulate again your winner in Wausau and champion, Mark Jacob. For the entire RMG Sports crew, I'm Jared Romesburg. Thank you, Wausau. Till 2018, fans, we'll see you at rmgsports.net.